Hi, so I'd like to demonstrate uh, this uh, small app I've been working on. It's a basically intended to be a companion app to the Electribe 2 called it Alpha. It's essentially um, intended to make it a bit easier to edit step data for patterns on the Electribe. For those of you who use the step edit function on Electribe before, probably know that while it's doable, it's not exactly a very friendly UI uh, to edit with. So I, I've built this uh, small app using uh, the MIDI connection to the Electribe. What, it's still pretty rough, it's in certain stages, but I wanted to show just a few of the bits of functionality that are already working. So I can just go, it's just running here on my laptop. I can connect to the Electribe, which is connected to my, to my laptop via USB. As you can see, what happens is the app requests uh, just the first uh, pattern. Uh, one of my to-dos is to actually make it request the current pattern, not the, but currently just starts off with the first one. And as you can see, it, the app uses a tracker style UI just because trackers, especially hardware trackers, seem to be having a bit of a rain, renaissance lately. So I wanted to use that sort of uh, display for the app. It's currently showing, it's probably a bit bigger than it needs to be. I can make that a bit smaller. It's currently showing the first uh, eight parts of this pattern. Now, while you can navigate it with uh, a keyboard, so I can just click into here and then just use my laptop's keyboard to move between steps and parts. If you have an electrop such as mine, which is running the HackTribe firmware, the very latest version of which, in fact, uh, adds f MIDI access to, or MIDI messages for all the uh, controls which is not um, possible with the factory firmware. What this lets me do is actually use the Electribe itself for pretty much all, or that's the intention is to pretty much control all aspects of the um, Alpha software with the Electribe's controls. So Alpha will just essentially be uh, an extended display for the Electribe. I'll show you what I mean here by uh, using this normal part um, keys, you can see normal part buttons let me navigate the selected part in alpha. Likewise, the selection dial lets me th scroll through uh, each step in, in the part. What I can also do is uh, the alpha will keep track of which pattern you have selected. So if I go and select, say, uh, one of my test patterns, you can see I can scroll through. And what I can also do is if I go to, say, uh, this part, I can use, currently it's the exit key to enable and disable that step. What I can also do is if I select a different part and switch to keyboard mode, you'll see the pattern uh, label in alpha will change to orange to indicate that it's in edit mode which is currently matches up to keyboard mode on the electribe 2 and if i select say um, an oscillator say this one Say a sign. There we go. Um, you can see that when I was doing that, what's happening is over here, that note is actually being entered in for that step, which again is not possible on with the Electribe's built-in step edit mode, which is a rather annoying. You have to use the um, select dial to dial in each note, whereas here. Uh, you can actually just use the basically pads to enter the notes. Likewise, um, if you get out of um, keyboard mode back into trigger mode, because in keyboard mode, these are of 
these four buttons are of course selecting the octave of um, the pads. If we switch back to trigger mode, what I've done is use these four buttons for shortcuts to the four pages of the steps so you can quickly jump between uh, the four um, sets of pages just like you would when you were if you were in step, se step sequencer in the sequencer mode of um, the Electribe itself. Uh, otherwise that's the main pieces of functionality I wanted to show that are working so far. I've got a lot, of, lot on my to-do list. One of my plans is um, to actually, oh actually, let, sorry, one other thing I wanted to show was, in fact, if we uh, go back to the first page, what I can do is also change the name of the pattern, which is another thing that's quite annoying with um, using just the dial on the Electribe itself, whereas here it's just you can use your keyboard, makes it much easier. I'm thinking I might like wire up the pads for that, for the Electribe only mode to make that still a bit easier than using the dial on the E2. Likewise, you can, there's just a send to E2 which will uh, persist, that will they'll write that, the, all these changes straight into the um, E2's slot. So currently that's a 249 slot. Um, one of my to-dos is to, in fact, instead of doing that, to just write it into the current edit buffer, uh, which will m then make this accessible straight away. Whereas by doing writing it into the slot, what happens is you actually have to go to a different pattern. Uh, you have to switch to a different pattern and then back to that pattern for the Electribe to pick up those uh, changes because it has the concept of an edit buffer that you're normally changing and then you're only writing out into that buffer into the slot with the right button. Whereas currently Alpha just writes directly into that slot rather than to the edit buffer. So I'm planning to make that uh, change shortly. Also, I've got on my to-do list to actually have a secondary screen that will let me edit all the details of each step. So currently you can see that I'm only displaying the first note out of a possible four notes for each step because the Electribe has paraphony, so it can do up to four steps, not just a, uh, sorry, four notes per step, not just one note, as is the case for the current um, hardware trackers. So I, I need to change the UI a bit to be able to represent that as well as the gate time, the velocity, those are also other things per step that uh, need to be represented in a slightly different part of the UI. So I'm planning to do an auxiliary screen for that. And likewise, I want to also, because I can, the Alpha can detect all, with, thanks to the HackTribe uh, firmware changes, it can detect changes to um, essentially all the settings for an instrument or an oscillator. I'd like to have a display page showing all the settings and letting you save essentially patches for each of your oscillators, which isn't currently possible unless you have basically placeholder pa parts where you're saving um, a particular patch or setting for an oscillator or a sample. Uh, my intention is that Alpha will let you just do that much more easily and then you can just have a banks of your own um, patches that you can choose to make use of on any particular part in a particular pattern. Well, that's about all I wanted to show for now. Like I said, it's in the early stages, but I've got a whole bunch of other things I'm going to implement soon. And I'm also planning to do another video where I'll, I'll demo um, the kind of use you can make with Alpha to do a quite a complicated uh, pattern that would be rather difficult to do just with, um, or rather time consuming, time consuming to do with just the Electribe alone. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.